Hello guys, I hope you all are fine. And today we are back with yet another amazing opportunity that is from Accenture. So Accenture is hiring associate software engineers and the role of app development. So today in this video, we are going to check what is the eligibility criteria and what is this job role and how you can apply to this particular drive. So we are going to check each and every important update. So watch the video till the end so that you do not miss any kind of important update. So let's get into this video. So as you know, the links always we have mentioned, we are mentioning it in the description box. So you can just click on the link in the description box and you will be landed to Accenture's official website where the job is listed. So here you can see the job is listed. Uh, it is package app development associate. It is basically associate software engineer only. So you will be labeled as associate software engineer. In this, the field would be app development and you will be working in this field. So as you can see, the experience mentioned is zero months to 11 months. So you can be from 2023 or even 2022 background. This is for both of these batches. Salary is also mentioned. It is a very good salary to start your career with. It is INR 4.6 LPA. So this is a very good amount that you are getting because starting your career with such a big brand like Accenture would be very helpful to you. Job role is full time. And locations mentioned, these are the locations mentioned, Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, Mumbai, Chennai, Gurugram, Kolkata, Indore, Jaipur and Coimbatore. So there are many locations. You can just choose any of this location or they can also post you as per their business requirements. Next, last day to apply is not mentioned, but to this off campus update, it is important. Like as soon as you know about this update, you go on and uh, like apply to this particular drive because it is like uh, first come first serve basis also okay so don't miss any chance like you cross the last date or you do not get uh, the proper email notifications it is beneficial like as soon as you watch this video till the end as soon as you complete the video you just go and apply to this particular drive let's check about the description before checking the description i would like to check out the eligibility because then we will pursue with this eligibility okay so let's click on this eligibility so as you can see here all streams branches of be b tech me m tech mca msc only from csit so only two streams are basically eligible csc and it so you can be only from these two streams only and pass out year is 2022 and 2023 so this is clearly mentioned like you can be only from CSIT and the pass out year should be 2022 or 2023. MBA, P, uh, PG, DBM candidates are not eligible for, to apply for this particular role. So you are not uh, uh, like eligible. Okay. Only this particular stream is eligible. No active backlogs during application or during onboarding. You should have completed your relevant degree. So it means you must have your degree in hand. Okay in the stipulated duration of the degree. Hence, uh, it should be having no gaps and no year of uh, like uh, in the course of your degree. There must not be any gaps. Okay. Like uh, example is also given. You must complete your BTEC in four years or MTEC MSc in two years. So it can be only of four years and MSc uh, like MSc and MTEC should be of only two years. Your highest educational qualification will only be considered. Okay, like for example, you have done MBA after your BTEC. Like for that, candidates are also not allowed because MBA candidates are not allowed and highest education qualification will be considered. Candidates should have appeared for Accenture, should not have appeared for Accenture recruitment process or drive in the last three months. So if you have applied and whether you got accepted or rejected, you must not apply it again. Okay. Candidate should not have more than 11 months of experience. You must not be having more than 11 months. It is strictly mentioned you can be from 2022 or 2023 batch and you must have 0 to 11 months of experience only. Candidates must be eligible to work in India either by citizenship or relevant work permit documents. Please note that Bhutan and Nepal uh, can work in India without a need of obtaining a work visa. So it is mentioned for those two countries states now you have willing uh, you are willing to work in any business unit service line within the company you are willing to join relocate to any accenture offices across india so you can be uh, like posted to any of the locations mentioned above 
okay so you must be uh, like happy and uh, basically you can you, you must be easy to relocate okay then only you can join to this particular role let's check out uh, like what they are offering in this role so here it is mentioned so we'll just check it out yes so in this role uh, first of all they have mentioned what is this accenture company so we all know accenture is a very renowned brand and it is a big mnc which deals with the uh, like digital cloud and security and even with the software development part okay combining unmatched experience and specialized skill across more than 40 industries we offer strategy and consulting interactive technology and operations services all powered by world's largest network of advanced technology and intelligent operation centers so you must read about Accenture before sitting for the uh, like uh, if you are selected for from the first round and uh, whenever they will call you for interview, it is good to have knowledge about the company which you are interviewing. OK, this is very important to know. Next, the role overview. So join our team that is developing, designing and maintaining technologies that improve the way our clients and the work, world works working in challenging and dynamic environments using their versatility to create and support technology solutions that meet our client requirements from analysis to implementation so you must be good at some skill sets which we will discuss now so what would you do so as an associate engineer uh, associate software engineer you would largely be involved in design build test assemble support and configure application using business requirements so you must be uh, having good knowledge, understand business drivers that will impact performance and deliver software to those expectations. Bake technology trends into solutions, participate in the development of automation solution, new functionality and technologies. Responsible for incident resolution and support extended to customers through voice interaction, email, chat and remote support. So you must be good at interaction as well. What uh, we need. So basically what they need is ability to anticipate and resolve business issues with agility, multidisciplinary and versatile with the aptitude to learn and apply new skills faster, good analytical and problem solving skills, deliver code, take ownership of successful implementation, support infrastructure, flexibility to relocate. Next, uh, any shifts are possible. 24 by 7 shifts are mentioned. So you can be uh, in the any shift. Okay. Also below mentioned will be preferred. So these are some preferred uh, qualifications which they will uh, prefer and which will be uh, taken as an added advantage if you have. Basic understanding of ABAP development, okay. Experience or knowledge in configuration, customization of Salesforce applications, good working knowledge of J2E uh, and full stack development, uh, knowledge of development experience of .NET, ASP.NET. So if you have any of the above skills, you can easily go for this particular drive because that will be carried carried as an added advantage. Test automation and engineering, creation of test designs, test processes, test cases, and test data, apply business and functional knowledge, including testing standard guidelines, testing methods to meet teams overall test objectives. Responsible for designing test scenarios, prepare all reports. So basically you must have good hand with the testing part as well. Eligibility criteria we have already discussed and that all for now. So that's all mentioned on the page and salary also I have discussed that is 4.6 LPA and locations are also mentioned here. So without wasting any more time, so we'll check out the process as well. Like what would be the process? So yes, process is mentioned here in detail. First of all, that would be like assessment process. If you are eligible, you will receive an email invitation to attend online assessments. The assessment is scheduled in two stages and must be completed in the scheduled time. So that would be like in the two stages and uh, particular time slots will be mentioned that will be given to you on emails. OK, so you must attempt those mock assessment. You will get a 20 minute mock assessment or practice assessment. Mock assessment is mandatory and it will ensure that you have the right hardware, software and Internet. So it is good like uh, whenever you receive the mock assessment link it is good to like it is mandatory you must attend that mock assessment so that all your hardware software and internet quality can be checked this assessment will help you to get an experience of the assessments assessment one that would be cognitive and technical assessment you will get 90 minutes to complete the assessment Syllabus is also mentioned here cognitive and technical assessment includes 50 questions on english ability 
critical thinking and problem solving abstract reasoning so these three topics are necessary and next technical assessment will include 40 questions so 50 questions from cognitive like from your english uh, aptitude abstract reasoning that and 40 questions from technical part that will be common applications and ms office pseudo code fundamentals of networking security and cloud cognitive and technical assessment results will be notified within 5 to 10 minutes post completion as soon as you clear so within 5 10 minutes you will be uh, like uh, screen on the screen that would be mentioned you are advised to remain seated and uh, wait for the results coding assessment will commence immediately post result notification you are required to meet the uh, meet the selection and uh, subsection cutoff uh, for the further round so that is an elimination round for sure if you clear the uh, sectional cutoff then only you will be clearing this round candidate must participate in coding assessment that is mandatory post clearing the cognitive and technical assessment because after that you will be passed to the coding assessment that is mandatory candidates who do not clear cognitive and technical assessment or fail to participate in the assessment the process will end there only so the timing you have to keep uh, like uh, on the watch, the timing when to start the test, that must be good. Your internet quality must be good because you will not get the second chance to attempt this test. And if you fail from this test, so you will not get the second chance. So you must be having good uh, preparation also. I'll tell you how you can prepare easily for this drive also uh, in the end of the video. Next assessment to coding assessment that would be the duration of this assessment will be 45 minutes. You will get two questions that must be solved using any one of the following languages. So all languages are mentioned here C, C++, .NET, Java, Python. You can be good in any of this language and then only you can clear the coding assessment. That would be of 45 minutes, two questions. Next last assessment that would be communication assessment. That would be approximately 30 minutes. Okay. You will receive a separate email and login details to participate in this assessment. Communication assessment will assess you from the following details. Sentence mastery, vocabulary, fluency, and pronunciation. So these four topics are mandatory for this uh, assessment three. That is the communication assessment. And lastly, if you are clearing all the rounds, you will be called for the interview. So interviews can be uh, like number of interviews have not been mentioned. Uh, but you can take it as like one technical interview and one HR interview. And later, all the communication will be carry forwarded on your email IDs only. Okay, so keep checking your email IDs. So let's now apply and check out what is the procedure, how you can easily apply to this, inter uh, sorry, the, the role. Okay, so we'll just click on apply now button. So if you have already built an account, you can just create, uh, like click on I already have an account. Otherwise, you can go on I don't have an account. So let's click on I don't have an account and check like what is the procedure. So registration form, some details are mentioned how you are going to write your name. So there would be first name, middle name and last name. So your first name example they have given very nicely. Passport size photo and uh, like it should be having white background and 80% of your face should be visible. Okay. Your face should be bright. You must not be wearing any uh, like uh, shades. Okay. Government ID card, uh, you must be carrying your official uh, PAN card. Okay, you cannot upload any copy or any cropped image. It must be like proper image of the PAN card. Let's click on next. And we'll check out like which details they are asking for so that you can keep the details ready. Okay, so job role, it is fixed here. So how you find out this job, you can just click from these four options. We'll choose it like social media advertisement. Next, uh, from which social media, so you can just uh, put out others and you can just fill YouTube, okay, if they are asking. First name, la middle name, last name, universities, registration number, email ID, primary contact number. And listen, one thing is very important to note here, any of the details which you are filling could not be replaced in the future. Okay, so you must fill very wisely and you must fill the correct details because you are you, no changes are will be permitted post submission of this form. WhatsApp consent, you can just fill yes, I consent because you will be getting other future updates on your WhatsApp as well. Alternate mobile number, you can fill date of birth, gender, residing state and city. You can just click from here. All the states and all the cities are mentioned. You can just check out your city. Educational details, highest educational profile, first of all, education type that would be postgraduate, dual degree or undergraduate. 
so let's take it as undergraduate degree you will mention there are the degrees and uh, let us uh, take it as btech okay so tech as well okay next college you can mention your college name branch year of passing and if you're getting in percentage you can just click on the percentage otherwise on the cgp next professional details if you are carrying any kind of experience just mention here okay no experience one to six or seven to eleven or more than eleven months but more than eleven months your profile sure would not get shortlist because this is not mentioned in the criteria it is strictly mentioned you must have less than eleven months or only eleven months of your experience zero to eleven months next skill details primary skill set just add your primary skill set from here number of skills has been mentioned next secondary skill set you can mention certificates if you have you can just mention easily your certificates here are the certificate names just check out from here uh, you must be having your uh, certificate okay next language certifications if you have any language certifications okay you can just mention here any foreign language certification like uh, french german you can just fill over here preferred job locations so they have asked you three locations out of the locations they were mentioning so you can just fill out any three top locations so they will try to get you in these preferred locations only other details uh, did you complete your relevant degree within the stipulated time so you will fill uh, yes so i completed standing backlogs it is it must be no like you must have zero backlogs have you worked in accenture or any of these entities so you can just fill no next in the last three months have you applied will fill no please select your nationality so we'll check out indian uh, examination details uh, so have you do you have any uh, like final semester exam so you can fill no any tentative final year completion month including so you can just fill your completion month okay expected any date you can just fill attachments in the attachments you have to attach your cv uh, resume uh, resume sorry and passport size photograph these are the uh, basic requirements and lastly the government id proof that is the pan card you have to fill only pan card pan card number also and pan card image as well disability certif uh, like you can just certify here so if you have any disability you can just uh, fill yes or do not wish to disclose or straight away said no next is the declaration so we'll just click on yes and i agree and read it very carefully okay so we'll uh, clear all the consents so we'll click on submit and your form will be submitted so this was the process from accenture if you get any kind of confusion you can just comment down below or reach out to us on our official website our mentors will be helping you out how you can fill this accenture particular drive okay so this was all about accenture's uh, drive and uh, i have mentioned each and every detail of experience salary and job type and eligibility as well and please check out the process once again okay so because you do not miss any kind of important thing they have mentioned the number of questions as well as the number of uh, like uh, the time slots also what is the timing and the syllabus as well okay so now we will come like how you can prepare for this particular drive so i'll show you uh, yes so uh, talent battle has a very good preparation course that is named as accenture cracker course which completes each and every important update that you need to have in your accenture drive so we cover your syllabus as well let me discuss briefly with you so this link you will getting in the description box only so here we are going to cover previous year accenture questions that were asked in the previous year in the live classes as well and in the recorded classes as well 40 hours of live content would be there and 60 hours of recorded accenture specific training would be there where mentors will be focusing you on the accenture specific topics because uh, why accenture specific training is important because whenever you are preparing for a drive specific training then they focus on you uh, like which is the company's most asked topics so they cover each and every part okay programming plus dsa in all the four languages is covered c c plus plus java and python this is taken from very beginning so if you are a beginner level then also you can just take part in this course and you can get ready for this accenture drive 300 plus hours of video content that you will be getting covering all the concepts of cognitive technical assessment and coding and you will also be getting virtual one-on-one -on -one mock interview with our mentors with, that will be taking in the same scenario as Accenture is going to take your final mock final interview so before your final interview or your actual interview you can give your mock interview 
to check where you lie and where, wherever we'll be having your uh, like we'll be giving you feedbacks as well which can improve your uh, thing okay next is the communication test guidance also we will be providing you because in the Accenture you can see it is strictly mentioned they are going to take a communication assessment as well which will be covering in this particular course doubt clearing groups you will get that would be 24 by 7 active you can post your doubts and queries here our mentors will be happy to help you out and five Accenture specific mock test mock test is one of the most important thing that you must go before your actual drive test okay because you get each and every uh, thing uh, like which is important which is not important how you are managing your time you get on each and everything and it is the best preparation method next a course completion would be given certificate would be given to each and every participant these are some our Accenture stories, success stories, which you can see. And we are very happy and proud after hearing this Accenture specific stories. Now, uh, for uh, here is the course overview. So this would be Accenture specific training covering all the syllabus for cognitive ability and technical round, English ability, critical reasoning, problem solving, abstract reasoning, technical video course covering all the questions from pseudo code, common application and MS office. This is the same syllabus which Accenture has already mentioned here. We have been checking. So you can see this all syllabus we are covering in our Accenture specific training. Next, uh, moving ahead. So yes, so here it is. Accenture coding round preparation would be there that can get you the higher package as well. 100 plus hours of Accenture specific training in which 40 hours is live content and 60 hour is the recorded content. Previous year questions with solved questions will be covered. Okay, that you will you will also get. And next is uh, schedule uh, mock interviews at your own convenience and 300 plus hours of foundational training. From foundational training, it is meant that uh, we will be covering each and every important topic from very beginning. That is named as the foundational training. In the aptitude as well, we are going to cover quant, reasoning, verbal, each and every kind of aptitude and all the important topics will be taken one by one that will be discussed all the tips and tricks will be shared by our mentors learn various right methods of shortcuts and logics prepare for your interview round from personal technical recorded course prepare yourself uh, your resume as well in the resume preparation course you will be getting one resume preparation course also which will be helping you how you can prepare your resume for accenture and mock test I have already discussed that would be topic wise practice questions you will also get doubt clearance telegram groups you will get that would be 24 by 7 active. So get prepared for your technical interviews with best in industry experts by scheduling your mock interviews at your own convenience. This is fully online course you can take out a uh, time to check out and I'll mention the link in the description box. Go through this link, check out the qualities which we are offering. Still, if you have any doubts, you can just uh, click on this button and you can just connect with our mentor, which will be helping you out. Okay. And course completion certificate, which will be given to each one of the participant uh, for this course. So that's all in this video. I hope you like the content. And if you have any kind of uh, questions or queries, you can just comment down below or reach out to us on our official uh, website. So see you soon in the next video. Till then, stay tuned. Bye-bye.